Hi everyone, I hope you all had a great weekend celebrating the Kadayawan Festival here in the Davao City. Since we all had a great weekend, I will now be discussing the first topic for the AMST subject. By the way, for those who did not know me yet, I am Kevin Jan Rivera and we will be seeing or hearing each other for the whole semester. Right now, I will be discussing the brief history of computer. What would we expect to learn on this subject? Of course, to be familiar with the history and the development of computing devices. Why is it important to learn about this history? It's because we cannot, we cannot use or develop certain technology without knowing the roots. So this is the most important thing to start or to begin with this subject. Okay, let's now learn about the earliest computer. So the ancient time, uh, everything that the humans do are all manual. From preparing fire, farming, and many more. This is because of the absence of electricity and resources for industrial technology. The abacus is considered the, to be the first computing. computer. It was created by the Babylonians in 300 BC and helped them in performing calculation. Abacus was often wrongly attributed to China, where in fact it was Babylonian who created the abacus. The abacus is still used today, principally in the Far East country. This is the sample of Asian abacus. And while this image is a sample of modern abacus. On the upcoming slides, I will be mentioning some people that have been significant in developing the computers. The first on the list is John Napier. John Napier is, the mo is known as the inventor of logarithms. So John Napier is invented the logarithms as a form of technology that allows multiplication to be performed via addition. He invented an alternative, alternative to tables where its logarithm values were carved on the ivory stick. It was being called a Napier's bone. So this is an example of Napier's bone. And also this is the, now the modern set of Napier's bones. William Oltred, with his companion, created the his slide ruler in nineteen in seventeenth century, using the Jane Napier work on logarithms as their basis. So this is an example images of slide rule. While Blaise Pascal is the best known of his invention of the Pascaline calculator. He invented this type of technology as an aid for his father who was a tax collect collector. So this is the images of John of Bayes Pascal. So Bayes Pascal is interested in calculating may, may have come from the desire to assist his father with the numerous calculation required in his job as a superintendent of taxes. In about uh, 1642, Pascal developed a calculator called arithmetic or Pascaline. So this is a sample image of Pascal calculator. Next is Gaff. Mr. Leibniz, Leibniz is a German mathematician, a philosopher. He occupies a prominent place in the history of mathematics and history of philosophy. He, he invented the stiff, rec, a stiff rec, a reckoner, a digital mechanical calculator 
in 1672 and it's completed the device in 1694 so he this device managed four functions like addition subtraction and multiplication and division the calculator he called step recorner The next we have is Joseph Marie Jacquard. He played an important role in the development of the earliest program loop, Loom, sorry, which played important role in the development of computer that the other and the order of programmable machine. Mr. Jacquard invented the mechanical loom first distributed in 1901 that simply is the process of manufacturing textile with complex patterns such as brocade and the mass and many more the loom was controlled by chain of cards a number of punch cards laced together in a continuous sequence this is a sample of jacquard looms so it's like a uh, dotted there's a pattern and there's a string so this is the person uh, working and this is the close-up of jacquard card and this is Dave Pistri was wooden by the jacquard loom. The next one is Charles Babbage by an English by in 1890, 1822 the English mathematician Charles Babbage was proposing a steam driven calculation machine. So the size of the room which is called a difference engine so this machine would be able to compute tables of numbers such as logarithms table. He obtained a government government sorry government funding for this project due to the importance of numeric tables in ocean navigation by performing the their commercial commercial and military knives. The British government have managed to become the earth greatest empire but in the time frame the British government was publishing a seven volume of set of navigation table which came with the companion volumes of correction which showed that the set of the set had ordered over 1,000 1, numerical error but construction of Charles Babbage different engine proved exceeding difficult and the project soon became the most expensive government funded project up to the, the point of English history. Ten years later, the device was still nowhere near complete. The acrimony abandoned between all involved and funding dried up. The device was never been finished. So, Babbage analytically engine in two main parts the, s the store where the number are hold and the mill where they will be woven into new result while Ada Lovelace is the English mathematician writer uh, and also he was been a part of uh, he also she also worked on charge Barber's early mechanical general purpose of computing the analytical engine so he her notes on the English engine include what are the recognized or what is recognized as the first algorithm intended to be processed by a machine so she is the one who worked on that one and the first computer program so the next one is Mr. Herman Holret is the American statistician and an inventor who developed mechanical tabulator based on the punch card. 
to rapidly tabulate stats from millions of pieces of data. So this is the Mr. Herman. So he is a fa he was a fa he was the founder of tabulating machine company that later merged to become a IBM. Hollerit is a widely regarded as a father of mod modern uh, automatic computation. So the first automatic data processing system, it was used in the count of 1890s U.S. Census. So he was de developing a, a whole electrical circuit causing the counter of the incremented and lead and sorting of box to open. So, in more details, each card was placed uh, into a reader. So, this is the sample one. So, analog. So, so, this is the machine that they created. So, hull rate key punch pa machine. So, all 62 million Americans were counted by punching the hole into a card from the census form. So it's like a punch ticket when you ride a bus. So it's like a hole or the dotted punch card. So what a co what a concept in 1970, 18, 1891. So this is the image, sample image. So electrical engineering was uh, it was issue of electrical engineer it was 19 November 9 November 11 1891 the page the top is the census uh, form filled out of the census taken so this is the the high tech in 1890s style so they begin a data processing made in August 30, 1890, covered by Scientific America. So, this is the function. So, it's more on binary concept, a whole and no whole. So, thank you and God bless. Okay, please take time to visit the link I shared on the Google Classroom for more reference. Uh, about the history of computer so please take time to watch on that video okay thank you